Hey guys, welcome to Tech Cruise. So recently I just built a new PC and currently I've been using it with a NVIDIA GT710 as with the current situation of graphics cards and how incredibly hard they are to actually get, I decided to just use this for now till I can actually get one. Now I do plan on getting one pretty soon. So with that in mind, I decided why don't try to make a video kind of just using the NVIDIA GT710 to edit a video on DaVinci Resolve. Now DaVinci Resolve is more of a kind of, it's a heavier kind of video editing application than something like Premiere. So I do imagine if this system can actually run DaVinci Resolve, you'd probably be able to run Premiere a bit better than you can on this system. So just keeping that in mind, the rest of the system is fairly new specs and most of it are pretty good. So it should work pretty well besides anything kind of that just the GPU has to do. So anything rendering the video, or just showing the timeline, it might be a little slow with that, but everything else should be pretty okay. So let's go ahead and open up DaVinci Resolve and start editing the shorts video. So I decided we're just gonna keep it really simple and edit a YouTube shorts, because those are just really easy to do. They don't take very long and it shouldn't be too taxing on the system. So opening DaVinci Resolve, it actually opens really quickly and that could definitely be with the help of the SSD and also the pretty fast Ryzen 8, uh, 3700X. So with the help of that, it actually starts up really quickly on my laptop I've been editing in the past, and DaVinci Resolve usually takes about a minute or so to start up. On this, it starts up within a couple of seconds. So once you're inside the main menu, obviously we just need to open a new project, so let's go ahead and do that. And it opened that really quickly, so for the most part, it's working fine right now, but obviously we don't have any clips inside of DaVinci Resolve, so let's go ahead and add some media. So adding some media, we have our intro outro over here. So let's go ahead and add that first. There aren't really too many clips to add in a shorts video as I do try to keep it pretty simple, but let's go ahead and add our main clip. And then after that, we also have kind of our music and also our basically our voiceover. So let's go ahead and add that also. So I have both of those already added here. Now, whenever I kind of make a shorts, obviously they are in a vertical format. And this is kind of something that is a little bit more difficult in DaVinci Resolve, but I do imagine that most of people who are using it already know this. So you just want to go ahead and go to create new timeline. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And now that I'm actually in here, basically I need to go to, I need to basically click use project settings and just not allow that. And then I need to go to format and basically change it from 1920 to 1080 to 1080 by 1920, which basically will just make it flipped and it will be in the vertical format that we're trying to look for. So let's go ahead and do that. And now we have that done. So our first step, and we're going to see how well this actually works is just adding our first clip. So we're going to go ahead and add the intro. And honestly, that worked pretty well. Now this is where it struggles a bit with playback. Usually on my laptop, I can play these videos pretty decently, but it is actually working fairly decently now. And I imagine if you did put a lot of effects on it, it wouldn't work too well. But for now, just the basic first clip, it's working pretty well. So let's go ahead and actually the first thing that I always do with these clips is I go ahead and I just change the actual kind of the zoom. So I always change this to 1.8. So let's go ahead and do that. Also, today you guys are also learning how I actually make the shorts. I do plan on increasing kind of like the quality of the shorts, trying to add more. So it's not just the basic kind of just having a uh, article running in the background and just to have more. So I do plan on doing that, but we will definitely be doing that in the future. This is just kind of how I do them now. So the next step is just to go ahead and add the main clip, which is actually working pretty well right now. So after that, I have the outro and let's go ahead and add the outro also. Now with the main clip, I also have to zoom it in quite a bit as obviously I record this in kind of a regular horiz uh, horizontal format, not vertically. So I just go ahead and zoom in like that. And so far it's actually been working really well. I've been surprised by how it's, well it's actually working because this is how for the most part it runs like this on my laptop. It doesn't really struggle too much, but it's like it runs, but it's not the best when you have a lot of clips and stuff going. And right now this is pretty simple. So I did imagine that I should be able to get through this pretty well. But if I were trying to like this video that I'm going to be editing, the one that I'm making right now, I don't imagine I'd be able to actually edit this video directly on this system. But continuing on, we basically have this part already done. Now, playback obviously isn't smooth when you just have your kind of the actual cursor just going like this and you're just dragging it. But if I just play it and press play, then it actually does work pretty well and it's playing pretty smooth. 
Now these are 1080p clips and they aren't really the maximum quality, they're just high enough clips that are quality that they will look pretty decent. Continuing on after that we also need to change our outro to 1.8, so let's go ahead and do that. Next up, basically the next step that I actually do is I change my audio one track to mono because the audio that I have for the voiceover is in a mono format, so let's go ahead and do that. The next step after that is this is the first effect and basically the only effect that I usually use in a short, but as I do plan on kind of making them better and increasing kind of the amount of editing that goes into shorts as I kind of just learn more about DaVinci Resolve, I will plan on adding more features and stuff like that. And not really features, just adding, making the shorts more interesting and more kind of enjoyable to watch if that makes sense. But after I do this, basically I just go to audio effects and I always like to add just the vocal channel effect and it just makes the audio sound a little bit better. I do record from my phone, so it's a pretty nice way to kind of improve the quality of the clip. So once you do that, and that's working pretty normally, so the first effect, and basically the only effect we'll be adding today, is actually working pretty decently. And so far, this has actually been running really well. So if you do plan on doing lighter 1080p video editing, you can definitely get away with a GT710. But if you do plan on adding more effects and you do want to plan on doing 4K video editing, you will definitely have some struggles with this GPU, especially because it only has one gig of VRAM. Now continuing on, I'm also going to go ahead and add kind of the just background music. So we'll just go ahead and do this. And really, it's actually been working pretty well. I imagine most of it, like most of the stuff we're doing is kind of just CPU related. And kind of the GPU accelerated stuff is like, it works pretty decent. But now if we try to play the video, it's just just to bring down kind of the volume for the music just enough so it's kind of just in the background and now we just want to go ahead and actually render this so we'll see how long it takes to render so just going over to the delivering page where you just can go ahead and render it i'm just going to name this something really simple for now so i'm just going to name this shorts because i'll just go ahead and rename this later and we just need to select our location and so far this has actually been working really well i'm surprised by how well i've never said this a few times but it's actually really great to see that you can edit a 1080p video on a GT710 with minimal, uh, minimal effects um, and it does actually work pretty well. So if you are trying to do a school project or some just small project you're trying to edit a small video, you can definitely do this on a GT710 and you can do it with DaVinci Resolve, which in my mind is one of the best kind of the best free video editors that are available. So once we go ahead and add this to the render queue, we can go ahead and render it. And I don't think it's going to take too long as obviously this is a really short video. It's not something that's really long, but this is definitely one spot where this GPU could definitely take longer. And we're just starting right now and say it's going to take 30 minutes just to render this video. So I'm going to get back to you guys once it's done and I'll tell you guys how long it actually took. So now that it's done, it seems like it actually didn't take too long and it actually did pretty well. So I'd say this experience using a GT710 on DaVinci Resolve wasn't actually too bad. It actually performed fairly well for kind of just the small video that we were editing, but I do imagine if you were editing a bigger project, you definitely would probably want a more powerful graphics card. And definitely if you wanted to edit something, anything higher than 1080p, that's really a case where you would basically need something that has more VRAM. But yeah, it's two minutes and two uh, seconds isn't actually too bad for this card. And my laptop usually does this in about a minute for a short. So it really isn't too bad and it did actually work pretty well. But if you guys like today's video and want to see more videos, please be sure to subscribe. And I'm definitely going to be making a video on the PC when I do actually get a graphics card. And I will be doing more videos. So if you guys are interested in videos about the PC, please be sure to subscribe for that. And if you guys have any recommendations for videos, put them down in the comments. But yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys like this little video. But yeah, that's it for today's video.